chest day today. So we're just gonna do a bit of chest, shoulders, and triceps. So a nice little push day. Oh, we're just gonna go through my uh, warm up routine that I normally do. We start off with some nice foam rolling. Oh, the upper back, just get a few nice cracks. Oh, that feels so good. Rolling the lats out. What's your favorite Pokemon game to us? Fire Red. Fire Red. <laughs> We're going to start off today with incline barbells. And normally I start with flat, but as I start of this new year, I'll go on incline so I can hopefully see some progression and obviously hopefully build up a bit more of my upper chest. Choose between a spot and a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, didn't it? All right, that's my weight. That's my weight. Oh, 72. <sighs> yeah, so normally I rest anywhere between two to three minutes at the start when I'm trying to lift heavy for me because yeah, I'm not the strongest. But I'm stronger than what I used to be. press four sets of about 10 to 12 as we push through so trying to build out that upper chest and bring that fullness on so hopefully we look a bit better for the future so exercise two it's gonna be a flat dumbbell bench press now so sort of work the upper chest now I'm just change the angle slightly as we move down so yeah I'm already warmed up from before, so there's no need to do any warm up ones because that just feels like a waste of time, to be fair. <sighs> so we're going to be aiming for oh, yeah, 8 to 12 reps. I should get at least 10 here. Hopefully, 10. Yeah, we're going. <sighs> <sighs> oh. Oh. 
That <laughs> killed you. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling so weak right now. Oh, God. That was legit everything. Yay! Alrighty, so tip, real uh, quick tip here. So when we're trying to pick up our dumbbells, so we're gonna do it like a deadlift. I wanna squat down, nice little hip hinge. Grab onto it, put them onto my knees as fast as possible so it doesn't get too high. And then from there, it saved a lot of energy so I don't have to waste heaps picking them up. Then as I roll back, kick them into position and push it up. So yeah, so that you fall a number or two short, you can always quickly grab another light weight, just the reps, because it's gonna feel as heavy as the heavy set anyway. Because your body has a couple more reps in the tank to finish off. But that's the last of my real big pressing movements. That's why I did a drop set on the dumbbells and not the barbell. Gotta move the mirror. Oh yeah. When you're doing chest flies, you gotta move the mirror right in front of yourself. So exercise three. So we've done two big pressing movements. The chest is pretty cooked, so what we're gonna do now, decline cable fly. So we've sort of done that upper, that middle. Now we wanna hit something on that lower portion as we go through, just to round the chest out. And then we're gonna superset it with Dumbbell lateral raises or side raises to get the shoulders popping out, give me that nice little V taper look. So I got one more exercise for a little bit of shoulders and chest to finish off. Just three sets of, um, then I'll do a dumbbell seated shoulder press today and some uh, push-ups in between and then we'll finish off with some triceps. Oh,
So that's the end of the chest and shoulder workout. We're just trying to do a little bit of triceps to finish it off and call it a day after that. push workouts. So normally I'll carry that on for about four to eight weeks at a time. So we'll see how that sort of rolls. Hopefully I see some good development and growth. And if it's stagnating, I might tweak out an exercise or two, but staying with the basics, my chest and my triceps and my shoulders are feeling pretty goddamn cooked. So it's gonna be nice to have a little bit of a shower and a feed and uh, I'll catch you next time for the next workout. Peace. <laughs>